for this edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. From former Free State Project President Carla Garrick, who's running for Senate, New Hampshire Senate. Quote, PSA, have you received a friend request from me recently? Apparently someone has created a fake account and is trying to friend friends of friends. Assume they are not friendly, but scaly, dodgy operatives. I'll be contacting Facebook to see what can be done. My accounts all have my mug or my Senate yard sign on them. Apologies for any inconvenience. Unquote. Another New Hampshire-ish Liberty News. The war tax resistors are going to be gathering in Maine. Actually, in Portland, Maine, and also in Deerfield, Massachusetts. Uh, the, the National War Tax Resistance Coordinating Committee. I think, is what they're called. Sort of, you could say, what we're called, since I have sent in one of their peace tax returns. So, the one in Maine is on October 27th, 4 p.m., and see what the one in, in uh, Massachusetts was. You can find out more at nwtrcc.org. Oh, switching back to Carla Garrick, News. She has uh, posted a response to a union leader article. It indicates the policeman who arrested her for trying to film is in line to get some a bunch of money from the town. He was a Ware Police Department officer. Apparently he was fired for being too bad even for them. This includes killing people while he was on the force, or at least one person. Uh, the union leader article, I'm not sure it's using the word lawsuit, but again, apparently he'd already received $171,000 from the town after being fired. His name's uh, Joseph Kelly, uh, according to the paper. So he, so he arrested Carla Garrick around 2009 when she pulled out a camera and tried to film a traffic stop, although her camera actually wasn't working. Charged her with wiretapping. She sued them. You know, of course, she won in court, then sued them and got 50 grand out of them. So she says, quote, If you live in where, this should make you mad. Kelly was one of the arresting officers in my wiretapping case, where I started video recording because they were acting rogue, and on which I prevailed after four years in court, having to fight all the way to the First Circuit Court of Appeals. I settled for $57,000, and... It has always rankled me that this ended up coming out of where taxpayers' pockets. Kelly, who was already known to be problematic at the time of my arrest, eventually got fired after being involved in a shooting of a fleeing suspect who was shot and killed from behind. DeHazes' family was paid $300,000 for his death. Kelly's payout was $260,000 for the trauma of the shooting. He pocketed 171 k after the attorney's fees. Now he is back for more. Only the taxpayers of Ware get punished. If I lived there, I'd be fighting this tooth and nail. Unquote. Nope. Can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.